What's up, everyone? Warmly welcome you once again to Explorers Podcast. In today's podcast, we have a very special guest with us, Tim. Tim is a goal achievement coach who helps people in achieving their goals, whether it's related to finances, relationship, or any other thing. So without any further ado, let's welcome Tim on the stage. Hey, Tim, how are you doing? Hi, Achieve. Nice to meet you on here. Yeah, same here, same here. Thanks for being on the show. How are you doing? What's up? I'm fine. I'm doing great. Yeah. It's beautiful right here. Right, right, right. So, Tim, we're going to start uh, with your basic little bit about your introduction that how you, you jumped into, you know, the goal achievement co- coaching and a little bit about your life journey that how you started up. Oh, well, actually, as, as a person, I, I love following my heart. Even right from the time I was in school, I was always doing things from my heart. And so that led me into finding out why things happen the way they do. You know, I always want to find out why are these things happening? Why is it so? Mm. And how, you know, so can one get out of this? So that mindset now drove me into understanding myself. That was when I started paying attention to how I was feeling, to my emotions and my love. And that got me into doing what I'm doing today because that pushed me into make, meeting other people mm. that now helped shape my life. Right. So uh, I think that's really wonderful that you find your why at uh, such an early stage that you keep exploring the things that you keep exploring that, you know, what's next for me. So around which year have you started wondering about why the things happen? Um, why do do? This should be, I think about nine years, nine to 10 years ago. Yeah, this should be 10 years ago. Right. right. Then I was in school. Yeah, I was still in school. Right. So uh, where did you grow up? Uh, what's your brought up like or your neighborhood and your surroundings or before you jumped into goal achievement coach and after you, you jumped into it, then how, how's life changed so far? Okay. Yeah, actually I was 10 in Nigeria, in Africa, you know, and in Africa, people believed one thing that you have to go to school, study very well, and then get good grades and get a good job. Mm. So actually I was going to school with the mindset at first, but later on I discovered that no, this is not me. I am totally different from all of this. That was when I started shaping my life. Mm creating my own path. Right. Studying books, reading, you know, books and stuff. And that's how I now got disentangled from that trap. Right, right. And uh, where I am today. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's really wonderful that when you know that I'm not meant for this or, uh, you know, I'm not meant for a typical road which all the other crowds are follow. I'm I meant to do something different or um, you know I want to do something different. Then I think it's it becomes really easy to follow that path, and it's really wonderful because most of the time it's really hard that most of the people you know find out their why, and you know find out their goals at the first place. And so, Tim, uh, why do you think people suffer a lot in fighting their goals or, you know, in pursuing their, their goals? What's stopping them? First, you see, there are a lot of things, actually. You see, it's not enough to have a goal. You may have a goal and imagine how beautiful it will look like when you achieve the goal, you know, and, it, and that gets you excited about you know, achieving the goal, how others will look at you when you achieve the goal, you know, and how that lifestyle will be like. So you, 
So you are so excited. But something happens along the way. This is where you start, a silent voice comes. Are you really sure about this? Mm. Do you think you can achieve this goal? What if you fail? What if you are embarrassed if you don't achieve the goal? What if you are ridiculed? What if you are judged? You have to take it easy. That voice is coming from your limbic system. That is the emotional part of your brain. Mm. That's right. So, yeah. So the moment it gets activated, it now brings up all the stories and excuses and reasons why you can't achieve the goal. And that's why many people now, now begin to procrastinate. They say, oh, all right, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll ask a friend about it. I'll ask my teacher. I'll ask my pastor about it. Yeah. Now they are giving up their power. Now they have no power anymore. They think other people can help them. And when they get negative opinions from other people, they buy into these opinions and that's how they forget their dreams. Right. So it's one of the major reasons why people don't go after their goals. Basically. And it's all coming from their own limbic system. Yeah. Right. That's one of the major reasons. Yeah. So basically, it all comes down to your own perception and to your own mind that uh, what yes. you really want to achieve. And you have said a, you have said a really wonderful thing that if we, you know, if we give our power to others or if we, you know, if we're always in the process of thinking that uh, in the if others approve this, then I'm going to do this. Then, of course, uh, those are all, you know, excuses. Yeah, we would say that. Yeah. And, you know, it stops you from achieving your goals. That's really powerful and that's really wonderful. So, Tim, if, if someone is struggling in achieving their goals or if someone is, you know, just start to achieve their goals, then what are the first few steps that he's going to take in the process of achievement? Okay. The first step to take is to ask a very powerful question. Mm. Why do I need this goal? Why do I need to achieve the goal? Right, right, right. right. That's a powerful question you must ask yourself. Why do I need it? The brain needs one powerful reason for you to move forward. Right. All the reasons coming from your limbic system telling you, hey, you can't do this. Hey, this is not good for you. Hey, you are not going to achieve this. These are reasons from your limbic system. So your brain now needs a bigger reason, a reason that is bigger than the reasons coming from the limbic system. So yeah. when you have a reason that is bigger than that, then that's when you move forward. That's when you move forward. That's true. One reason. That's true. So you have to have a powerful why. Mm. <coughs> it's really powerful that you know. Yeah. If you don't know your why, then you are just like a wanderer. You know, you don't know where you want to go, and you don't you don't know your destination. So obviously, you're gonna you know circle around, 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 and you're gonna reach nowhere. And exactly. Finding your why is, is really powerful thing. And I think more, majority of the people lack in this kind of perception or in this kind of mindset. They just give up when, you know, they are on the right path. They are on their path of achieving success or in achieving their goals. But if one or two, you know, in their surroundings, um, just naysayers, they just say, man, you can't do it or just give up. So they just give up so easily. Why is it so, man? Exactly. And it's really sad to see so many people, you know, give up so easily and why is why is this happens uh, does their why is not clear or not strong enough or it's in their mind or what's the reason behind it 
Now the right truth is yes. Just as you said, their why is not big enough. Mm. It's not bigger than the reason from the limbic system. Yeah. Because there are so many reasons telling you you can do this. So you have to have a bigger reason that's bigger than that. That's when you can move. Mm. The second reason is they have not fallen in love with the goal. Right. When you are in love with your goal, you don't need any negative, you don't need any negative reason. No matter what somebody tells you, you don't, don't listen. No matter what they say, you don't hear that because it is coming from what you love and we have is, is in the heart. So when the heart is in love with what you want, it is opened. Now the heart is open and it begins to send a wave of energy into the brain. So when the heart is enlarged, as a result of falling in love with your goal, it now begins to send a wave of energy to the brain. Hmm. The brain now begins to get clear pictures of your ideal life. And that's when the miracle happens. That's when the miracle happens. That is when you have coherence. <coughs> right. So what I understood yeah. from, from your perception that first you have to visualize it, what you really want to achieve. And exactly. once your mind visualizes that uh, particular thing, then your mind perceives it that, yeah, man, this is what I want to do. And you have to work your move forward. And uh, I think this is uh, one of the most powerful techniques in achieving your goals and um, it's really wonderful so and one more one more thing when you have visualized the goal when you visualize the goal mm. then you stop right there you take your body and meet your mind right there because don't forget when you visualize your goal your brain is there your mind is there, but your body is in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, this is where, good. This is where you must take your body to the brain and keep them there. Never to return. Yeah. This is I, very important. It's really very important that you, you keep yourself, you remind yourself every day. That, yeah, man, this is what I want to do. Otherwise, Great. you're going to just, you know, forget that. It's really, exactly. it's, it's really vital, man. You have said a really wonderful and most important point because in, we have seen almost uh, everyone we, with the passage of, you know, when the new year comes and almost everybody is coming with a new year resolution. Man, yeah, man, this is what I'm going to do through, throughout the whole year. But then again, we know that in how many people, you know, they actually keep up with it. They just lose interest in, in some interest in few days, some in few weeks, other in a couple of months. So I think it's quite hard, but it comes with a practice. I think once you start uh, reminding yourself every day, then I think it will become easier for you. Exactly. Exactly. That's true. So it's a, it's a, day, it's a day to day process. Wonderful, absolutely yeah. wonderful. Uh, so Tim, tell us a little bit about your uh, program or about your, you know, uh, the goal achievement coaching practice, how you help people in achieving their goals. Uh, what's your strategy? Okay, yeah. Just as I said before, the major problem is in living in the future. Mm. Because you see, the brain is a record of everything we know in our life. Right. It's a record of our past. And for most people, they wake up every day and they are living in their past, not in their future. So this is where I come in, where I reorganize brain and body so that it's now a map to the future. Mm. And I keep them there because the moment <laughs> brain and body are reorganized to reflect the future, the environment now starts to change to match up with it. Right now, the result you have right now is as a result of how your brain and body had been organized. Right. Yes, is the state of your brain and body. 
this is where it is right now and it will come with its own results mm. that's true so but, but as the brain now begins to change to reflect what you want it begins to produce chemicals for the body now to feel into that state as brain and body are on one page vibrating with the same energy now you are no longer living in your past you are now in the future right now and that is when the environment now will start to change to match the environment will always change this is based upon the law of connection so this is where i teach people to take their brain and body out of the past and then put in the future and stay there no matter what happens to them in the present moment is not important there is there is very it's important it's really it's really wonderful it's really powerful and uh, you have mentioned uh, such a wonderful thing that you keep keep them trained to get out of the past and you know you keep your mind in the future and i think this is one of the one of the major uh, thing which keeps the people you know keeps in the past or in, why the people fails in achieving their goals because they are stuck up in the past their past comes exactly. they just keep yeah, thinking they starts thinking then they do overthinking and then they just keep dwelling in the past and i think so. this will this will you know this will just um, your you know slow the pace and slow their drive so exactly. this is this is one of the most important tip that you know you have to keep yourself out of the past and you have to look forward to the future absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful tim uh, you you mentioned uh, one example of a guy um, who stood up to the mountain and he said um, man you are bigger but i i'll come back when i am bigger than you what's that story exactly. is and that's so powerful man i just want to uh, you know you can just uh, tell us the story for the viewers what's that story of a man okay that's edmond hillary when he said a goal to read the summit of the mountain mm. it wasn't easy for him because he failed so many times yeah in 1950 1951 1952 no one had ever done that everyone tried and failed but he didn't give up he kept moving so there was a time when all all the expedition members we are all gathered in london just at the lounge so they were talking to one another on how they were going to surmount the mountain and then and mohilari was just so quiet not talking at all so all of his thought the sudden he stood up i was talking to the image on the wall the image of the mountain was on the wall so he went to the wall i was talking to the mountain mount everest i came against you and you defeated me there's no problem i'm coming again and this time i'm going to defeat you because one thing is certain you cannot grow bigger than you are but i can yeah and this time he did it as he went this time he conquered the mountain and people asked him how were you able to do this how were you able to conquer the mountains they asked him he said no we don't conquer the mountains we conquer ourselves that's what he said that's really wonderful that's really that's powerful what... man that's really powerful that we don't conquer the world we just conquer ourselves and you know we just we need to conquer ourselves that's, that's really wonderful that's it. that's it yeah yeah i mean that's the that's the mindset uh, that's the mindset we really need to have that man we do really need to conquer ourselves then we're going to conquer everything that's very really, important that's very really. important that's really yeah. powerful and i think this is where most majority of the people lacks because you know they just want they to change their outer self or they want to change uh, everything outside of them but they are not going to see what's inside them and they are not willing to change themselves man because that's where the change comes and exactly really, exactly really that's those yeah. effects yeah it's really wonderful it's really wonderful team and uh, team i really enjoyed the whole conversation man it's always pleasure talking to you 
so before we wrap thank you wrap, it's, it's, yeah yeah man I, i i just love conversation with you and before we wrap this up any suggestion for you know for the newcomers or who are just stuck up in their past or you know just keep failing in achieving their goals what are your top suggestions for those if i have a question for them what do you really want right what do you really want when you know what you want then it becomes very easy to get it mm. that's really wonderful that's really wonderful yeah. that first we have to know what we really want irrespective of yeah. what, what other told us you know you you have to do this you have to move on this track irrespective of that just forget about all the things and you know just honestly ask about yourself that man what what you really want that's really wonderful that's really wonderful and, and then you listen to no one once you know what you want listen to no one and go after it yeah man uh team how how did you conquer or how you, did you develop such kind of mindset uh, just go yeah, at it, it. it's actually, it's it's love it's it's love it's really for discovery man it's really wonderful yeah i think yeah. It, when you love when you love what you do man then it becomes really easy and when exactly you, when yeah. you know when you know your goals when you you know just have a when you when you i think when you being honest with yourself then the real answers come up if you're not honest with yourself then you know you are just telling lies to yourself man but in reality you know man this is not what i want to do this is just the society tells me to do and i have to do it i have to wake up every morning i have to do everything i have to do every other thing which others tell us tells me and it's really sad to see such a person man and that's really powerful man and uh, i always love talking to you man it's really pleasure to have you on my show and thank you once thank again you. thank you so much team for your valuable time and for your valuable insights man you are welcome atif i'm so happy yeah yeah same with you. same here man same thank here you. take care take care yeah hope you guys enjoy the episode make sure you hit the like button and subscribe till the next time take care bye bye